Hi, welcome to another Card Magic 365 using just a regular deck of cards. If it's your first time here, please think about subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you're reminded when we upload new videos. 365 is in the title because we're going to upload 365 brand new card tricks each year. And they're all going to be very basic almost self-working so anyone can perform these you don't have to be a magician you might just enjoy magic as a hobby or an interest to impress friends and family this one requires just a regular deck of 52 cards the spectator can shuffle these cards as much as they like when they give them back to you you're going to say i want you to go through these cards i want you to take any card that you like okay and in fact they do have a choice of any card it's not a force they take any card from the pack they look at it they don't show you but they remember their card you ask them to put it back in the pack and you can give them a shuffle if you like it's not required but you can shuffle the cards if you so wish you may even want to give them a cut as well. Now you might think, well, have I put it in a particular place? Well, I'm not going to find your card. You're going to find the card by using a random number. You picked a random card, you're now going to pick a random number. So we're not here all night. Pick a number between, say, 5 and 12. Now let me show you what I want you to do, because you're going to handle the cards. When you pick a number, let's say you picked 11. I want you to deal down cards one at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. But then look at the very next card. Is that your card? Been a hell of a trick if it was, but that's not. That's what I want you to do. You take the cards. What number do you want your card to arrive at? Now they will give a number say for example eight they will deal down one two three four five six seven eight they turn over the very next card which happens to be not their card you take the cards back and you say well you're not as good at this as i thought you'd be now i can either get you to choose another number or maybe your friend over here may want to go Pick a random number. Let's make it a bit higher, maybe 12 to 20. And they pick, say, 18. They will take the cards. They will deal them down. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. The very next card is not their card. You take the card, you say, look, you shuffled the cards at the start, you chose a random card, we lost it, you picked a random number, you picked a random number. But maybe there's something in the numbers. Subconsciously, you picked an 8 and you picked 18. We wanted a random number for the card to arrive at. Maybe if we take the two numbers, the 8, if we subtract that, from your freely chosen number and you could have had any number but you chose 18 which gives us a total of 10 let's see what happens watch 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 what was your card there it is and that's a great little self-working trick the method to this great self-working card trick is fantastic because you can build up the performance because it seems impossible that the cards were shuffled a card chosen they both gave random numbers yet we managed to find their card without even looking at the cards there's just one thing you have to do and i'll show you that now but it's very simple you can use your own method when the cards are shuffled, they really are shuffled. When you get them to choose a card, 
that is a free choice. They can have any card from the pack. So they happen to have gone for this one here. When they take the card out, all you need to do is to get 10 cards off the top because you're going to get them to put their card back there. Now you may have noticed that when I was spreading the cards, I was counting the cards. Two, four, six, eight, ten, and then just carried on going. But there's my ten cards already done. But you can do it once they've taken the card. Remember, they're busy pulling out that card. As soon as they pulled out that card, they're busy looking at it. You can quickly just count off silently ten cards. They put their card back in the pack and you just drop these on so their card is in the 11th position. Now it's up to you if you want to do this next part. If you're not a, a magician full time, you can shuffle these. I tend to just turn them face up and just do an overhand shuffle, but I don't take the back cards. I take from the middle and just do a shuffle like this. You don't have to do this. They chose a card randomly, you've lost it in the pack. But you say to them it doesn't matter where it is because they're going to locate it by giving a number. Now you say to them a number between 5 and 12. It's always between 5 and 12. Now to demonstrate I need to count 11 cards off the pack to reverse their order. And you'll see why. So what I say to them, you're going to pick a number between 5 and 12. Let me demonstrate. What if you gave me 11? You would count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. What you've done, you've reversed these cards. So when you put them back on top, their chosen card is currently on the top. Now, if you know a different method of getting their chosen card to the top, if you're more experienced at handling cards, you might have a much better, fancier method of getting it to the top. But as long as their card's on top, the rest of it works itself. You ask the spectator to give you a number. Let's say they chose uh, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then they look at the next card, not the 10th one, the next card. It's not going to be their card. You put that back, and then they drop the cards back on top. Now, you can either get the same spectator to pick another number, a bit higher. This time, it's going to be from 12 to 20. I sometimes like to say to their friend, will you have a go? You might be better than this person. So they will pick a number between 12 and 20. Let's say they picked 17. Yeah. They will deal down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. They look at the next card and again it's the incorrect card. You put that back. The cards are set up. If you now say to them, maybe you both picked those numbers for a reason, you picked a 10, you picked 17. If we deduct one away from the other, that will give us a totally random number. So taking 10 away from 17 leaves us with 7. So when we deal down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, the very next card will be their chosen card. It works every time, a complete self-worker, and that's another great card trick from Card Magic 365.